Hey everyone, so we have another holiday right around the corner. And in honor of that and just the fall time of year in general, I wanted to try a little bit of a different video today. Normally I do like classically styled tiki cocktails, things that make sense, citrus, syrups, rum. Today I wanted to take a different approach. So today we're gonna be making two tiki-esque, tiki-inspired aperitif cocktails. I'm Andy, this is Easy Tiki Drinks, and today we're gonna go Italian. So let's do this. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, we have a holiday right around the corner. The holiday that I'm talking about is Thanksgiving. Now, whether you celebrate it or not is completely up to you, but either way, this works for pretty much any holiday. Normally, I find myself at gatherings on holidays, and of course, drinking is involved. Now, here's the deal. You don't typically wanna to drink too much because then you get intoxicated around your family and you kinda of make an ass of yourself. Not a good deal. So instead, what we can do is we can drink aperitifs or aperitivos. Now, what is an aperitivo? Basically, this is an Italian cocktail that was created that's low ABV and great for drinking pre-dinner. The idea of the cocktail is to give you some booze, not a ton, and to help dry out your palate and make you want food. My buddy over on the Educated Bar Flight, Leandro Demon Riva, recently did a video where he outlined six Italian aperitif cocktails from his time in Italy over the summer. That inspired me. I said, those look real fun and really enjoy drinking most of those. A typical one that you might know of is the Negroni. Now it is a little bit more higher proof than some of the other ones that we've talked that we talk about, but the Negroni is basically an aperitif style cocktail. So I wanted to see if I could make some tiki versions of that. That was a challenge, quite a challenge, and it did a lot of R&D. I had to go through a lot of trial and error and tasting a lot of different cocktails I know it's tough work, but someone's gotta do it to come up with this combination and these cocktails. Here's the deal. While I have names for them, I think they're okay. Honestly, I would love to hear what you would love to call these names for these cocktails. Comment below. Let me know at the end of this video what you think we should call these cocktails. Again, I've got my own names, but let's see what you guys wanna do. So we're gonna go over two different style cocktails today. They're basically the same. And basically I'm taking the template from the Milano Torino and the Americano. Now the Milano Torino is equal parts Campari and sweet vermouth. The Americano is the same exact cocktail lengthened out with soda water. So what I did was basically do the same thing. I came up with a base cocktail, right? That I'm calling pimento and clove. And from that, I wanted to see what adding some soda water to it did. And it makes a different, but Similar, but still amazing cocktail. So in that one, we have the Antilles. Let's see what we're gonna need to make these cocktails. We'll make each one of them. And we'll kind of talk about it. So first up is the pimento and clove. For the pimento and clove, you are going to need pimento dram, Italian red bitter aperitif, falernum, and absinthe. So as you can see, only four ingredients, not super complicated. So let's talk about a couple of my choices. And actually that brings me to the sponsor of today's channel. The Bitter Truth Company is a bitters and liqueur company based on craft cocktails. So they sent me a bottle of their pimento dram and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to make it kind of the star of this cocktail and see if I could do that and I succeeded. For my red Italian bitter aperitif, I'm of course going with Campari. There are a few others on the market, but Campari is the king. Now for the Falernum, I'm going with Falernum number nine. This is my homemade Falernum. And then for the absinthe, we're going with St. George Vert. All right, so as you can see, only four ingredients to this cocktail, super, super simple. So let's build it, let's sip on it, let's taste it, give you some tasting notes, then we'll talk about the next one. Now grab your mixing glass, and in your mixing glass, add three drops of absinthe, a half ounce of falernum, a half ounce of your bitter red Italian aperitif, and a full ounce of your pimento dram. Add some cube dice to your mixing glass, and then stir for about 30 to 60 seconds until the outside of the glass is frosted. Grab that tempered rock, strain over the rock into the double rocks glass. And we're gonna garnish with an orange twist. And there you have it, my pimento and clove. Let's give it a try. That is perfect. That is 
spicy and sweet with only a touch of bitterness on the back palate to really dry it out and make you want more. This was so inspired by the Milano Torino that, you know, it was kind of the base of what I went off of. And even the name, right? Pimento coming from the Pimento Dram, the Pimento Berry, that's the main star ingredient in that uh, liqueur, and the clove, which really shines from the Falernum. This is a great cocktail that I could sip on. It's low ABV, right? None of these are above 30 ABV. They're all like at most 22% ABV, maybe 44 proof. Like the Florinum I think is about the same with mine. Um, the Campari is, yeah, 24% ABV. The Pimento Dram also 24, 22%. And then my homemade Florinum is about 22% as well. So not a super strong cocktail. All right, so next up, let's talk about the other cocktail and that is the Antilles. It's basically the same thing, but we're gonna use soda water instead. Well, on top of. So let's see what we're gonna need to make the Antilles. We're gonna need pimento dram, an Italian bitter red aperitif, falernum, absinthe, and soda water. So as you can see, the same exact ingredients that we use for the pimento and clove, except this time we have the addition of soda water. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna help lengthen out the cocktail and make it, you know, a little bit more sippable and last a little bit longer. So let's build this cocktail. So add some ice to start chilling your Collins glass. In a mixing glass, you are gonna add three drops of absinthe, a half an ounce of falernum, a half an ounce of your bitter red Italian aperitif, and then a full ounce of your pimento dram. Add some cube dice to your mixing glass. And once again, we're gonna stir for about 30 to 60 seconds. And Grab your chilling Collins glass and put a little bit of soda water into the bottom of it. Now we're gonna strain off our mixing glass into our Collins glass. And then we're gonna to top with more soda water. Be careful, it will erupt. For this, we're gonna garnish with a mint sprig. And of course, a Surfside Sip straw. And there you have it, my Antilles cocktail. Let's give it a try. The soda water does nothing to really dilute the flavor profile of this cocktail. <laughs> it really just adds nice effervescence to this that makes it even easier to drink. The mint on the nose really helps keep this thing nice and light and refreshing. So, where did the name come from? Well, again, looking at the two main star ingredients in this cocktail, my Pimento Dram and the Falernum, we're looking at Pimento Dram from the Pimento Berry, which grows natively in Jamaica, and Falernum, which comes from Barbados. So, I wanted to see what tie those two islands together, and basically they're part of the Antilles chain. So, I'm gonna call this an Antilles. So there you have it. Two tiki-inspired, or tiki-fied, aperitif cocktails. Now, before I continue, there is a thing that is coming out called Apertiki, where basically they're trying to create aperitif style cocktails that are tiki inspired. The Jungle Bird has been done time and time again. Now, while this does consider itself Apertiki, what I wanted to make sure that I did was create low ABV versions. Some of the Apertiki cocktails that I've seen out there are actually pretty boozy. These, I wanted to be nice and easy to sip, but also low ABV so you don't get trashed while you're around your family. I really enjoyed this one, guys. I know it's a little bit different, right? We're not talking about like classic tiki style cocktails with citrus and syrups and rum. Instead, we're just using liqueurs. And we're making tiki cocktails that aren't, they don't have any citrus in them, but it's a familiar flavor profile that every tiki head should be familiar with. There you guys have it. I know this was a little bit of a different episode, but I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell. Head on over to Instagram and TikTok. Follow me there at Easy Tiki Drinks. I really hope you guys enjoy the holidays coming up, whether you celebrate them or not. I really just hope you enjoy this time of year. So thanks so much for watching. And until next time, you know the deal. Take it easy.